five minutes game against uh, someone who is higher rated than me. Then let's go one c4. Let's keep it solid then. Okay, let's play. So this guy is an international master. And he goes d6. Okay. E5. So how do we play here? Okay, let's just go g3. g6. Then I think d4 is a move. Although I could be wrong. But I think this is some uh, kind of a theory. Yeah, he goes knight c6. Can we just take on e5? To play it simple. Yeah, I guess we can. He takes with the knight. Then I think it's just comfortably better for white. Let's say we just go bishop g2. Knight f3. So there is no knight xc4 because of uh, queen a4 check, obviously. So he just takes. Okay, we take back. Then we will probably just enjoy some uh, slight pressure here. Okay, let's castle. Play bishop g5 to, to provoke h6 and then go bishop d2. Okay, rook e1. I mean, obviously, it has to be said that, uh, I mean, it's not even close to be. You know, dramatically bad for uh, for black out of the opening. It's probably small pressure, but nothing more than that. So, in terms of ideas, what I like to do in the slides is to play ninety five. Can I do it here? I guess I actually can. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why sometimes it makes sense to provoke h six. So whenever he takes on b two. I can play bishop takes uh, bishop takes h6 as the pawn is um, not protected anymore. Yeah, he goes c5, which is normal, and I guess we take. Now, at very least, we have rook c1. And there is also queen c1, which is ambitious. Like, technically, it's a, it's a double attack even. Um, yeah, I think we can try queen c1. He will probably go, I don't know, rook b8 or something like that. Not that we are uh, exactly winning, but still it looks quite dangerous for black, I would say. That's how, that's how I feel about it, at least, I don't know. So I think he should never give up, like whenever he give, gives up a pawn, he should never give up h6. So now bishop takes h6, he, he's going to play bishop, bishop takes b2, which makes sense. Um, so if we just pass here, like we go rook b1, for instance, protecting the pawn, then it doesn't look great to me. We can also play like b3 or b4, just asking him to, you know, take something. The problem is that probably he he will not take any of it. He will just play king h7, sacrificing c6, and then he will be fine. So that's why I feel like it's uh, much more ambitious and logical to take on h6 here. Which could be a big mistake, actually, but who really cares? So after bishop, bishop takes b2, I'm going to play it simple, like queen d2. And um, yeah, just just play a game. Technically, after bishop takes b2, we also have a oh, okay. He doesn't he doesn't play it. So here I thought we can take on c6 actually. I mean, once again, not that he's lost, but it just feels like uh, um, like a normal way for the game to to go. Okay, so yeah, he's obviously very close to a draw here. Like he's only one. Uh, he's only one pawn down, and um, his pieces are active. So 
this is what normally leads to a draw. And he goes queen e4, which I think is a good move. So is there a way to play this for win? Like if I take and go e3, probably play rook c4. Um, maybe I take and play king f1 actually. Okay, let's try this. So in terms of ideas, I think I'm happy to trade um, a2 for d6. Once again, not that, uh, not that it will exactly be, you know, bad for him, but that would be sort of good, I think. Now I probably go f3. Don't know why exactly though, but why not? So he's trying to bring uh, bring the rook to c2. I'm trying to prepare some rook e3 idea uh, to be able to you know protect e2. I don't really have time as well. So let's say rook d3, rook d1. So he can probably play rook c2. No, he goes rook b4. So he actually claims that he's better already. That could be true, unfortunately. Okay, let's just start playing this fast then. Rook b3 allows rook takes d4 now. This was a little strange. I think he's still fine, but uh, like now it's obvious that white is better. Guess we just take go rook d7. Well, what I played was not terribly ambitious, I must say, but um, yeah, given the fact I'm way behind on the clock, I just want to keep it simple. So, this is strange, he allows like check and rook a7. Or rook a7 immediately. Okay, let's go rook a7 immediately. So he sort of has to start checking, otherwise he's uh, probably lost. But then I bring the king. No, he goes here. But then I think he's just lost. Okay, rook h7. g7. Okay, lost was a little too strong, I must say. Like he's probably lost, but not when I'm down to 30 seconds. So once again, I'll just try to play it simple and um, not allow him to flag me. Okay, h5, h6, king g6, let's say. Yeah, this is a draw. Maybe not anymore. No, this is checkmate, okay. Uh, so we have one minute left. I guess I'll 